Hello everybody, how is it going? My name is Lucas and welcome to another episode of Amps of the Axe Effects 3. Today we're checking out a highly requested amp in the Axe Effects and it's going to be the 5153 50 Watt Stealth Edition on the Blue Channel. And guys, if you're first time here or if you've been here before, make sure you are subscribed. I do lots of cool stuff here. I do Axe Effects tutorials, mix and reviews, and I do giveaways from time to time. I don't want you to miss any of that cool stuff. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and check out the 50 Watt Stealth. So Stealth has been highly requested in the Axe Effects. As you can see on my Axe Edit right here, we currently do have it, but it is in beta. It's in the 23.03 beta that it showed up. And the Tone tab right now does not work since this is in beta. So I dialed it in from the Ideal tab, but I use everything that was in the Tone tab for the non-Stealth 6L6 50 watt that we have in here. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two. I have them both matched perfectly even in the output section. Um, I'll throw on a drive at one point just to kind of show you what it sounds like. IR-wise, we're using some Ingo XXL official IRs from Celestium. We're using an SM57 and an R121 for the IR. For the guitar, we're using my Mayonnaise Duvel in Drop C with some Bare Knuckle War Pig. So I will just play for you. I'll play a bunch and I'll go between the different amps and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That is going to be the 50 watt stealth. I'm sorry if I'm sitting in kind of a weird position. It's because for this amp in particular, I was getting a ton of um, interference from my computer and my pickups. So I'm kind of sitting so I can aim my pickups away from the computer. I like the stealth. I think it is really, really cool. As you heard when I was switching back between both editions of the non stealth and the stealth, the stealth has more gain to it naturally and it's a little bit warmer. So kind of it has more of like a low mid push to it but like i said they're evenly matched and even saw me match the base because i didn't want anyone to say oh, it wouldn't perfectly match yes it's 100 perfectly matched and believe it or not i kind of rather the amps without a drive which is weird for me because i run drives on all of my amps i just preferred the stealth especially without a drive because i mean you heard it when i kicked it on i made a little bit of difference but it didn't really make a whole lot uh, when i was pushing the game it kind of didn't really affect it a whole lot it was very weird it was almost as if like when you pushed it up like it was there but like it didn't have a gradual like cascade effect it didn't like gradually get more it was just kind of all there at once i did try doing this with the bright switch on and on both of the amps and i didn't like it because it raised the noise floor a lot it, it made the interference even worse that i was getting and i just found it made things a little bit too harsh so i didn't turn the bright switch on so i'm doing things i normally do on it all my every time i dial something in on here so no bright switch no drive and eq wise i just i took a little bit of the mids out and without a drive you get kind of some low end kind of peeking through so i pulled 125 so that way it wasn't so boomy i do like the stealth and i'm really glad that we have it because people who have been clamoring for it, we finally have it and if you want something that's a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more straightforward the stealth is definitely the way to go I mean, the, the 50 watt blue channel is kind of magic. It's really awesome. It, it has this complete different sound from what the 100 watt does. But I also do like the non-stealth. I hadn't really played this in like a very long time. And I do like it. I find it's, it's a little bit cleaner and it gives you a little bit more pick attack, I guess you could say. So it could definitely do some genting on this amp. I mean, I got the running the gain at 250, which is which is kind of low I, I guess you can consider it kind of low i don't really like to pump a whole lot of gain because it can't really hear anything i really did like the non-stealth i thought it was really good it's still a really good amp i think i still i prefer the 50 to the 100 watt personally on the axis of x that is not in real life just on the axis of x i find that it's a little bit better and i guess that's gonna wrap things up for the stealth i mean it isn't a completely different like mind-blowing amp it's still in that evh range but the stealths have been wildly popular for a very long time since they came out. And I'm glad they finally made their way to the Activate. To sum it up, I'm sure you heard it when I switched between them. It has more gain naturally. And it's a little bit warmer in the, in the midsection. The mid frequencies are a little bit more pronounced in there compared to the non-stealth. And I think it's really cool. And it sounds really good even without a drive. Which, like I said, that's rare for me because I put a drive in front of everything. So guys, if you thought this video was cool, leave me a thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you aren't sub, you really should think about it. And guys, I know there's a lot of stuff out there vying for your attention. But you chose to spend some time with me and I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.